That's two of the best in all of America. Second down and five at the 49. Notre Dame short blitz. Hogan back to throw. Gets it away. Far side. Incomplete. Well defended by Devin for Notre Dame. I know it's just the first incompletion, but Devin Butler starting in place of Kavari Russell, their best corner who was injured last week against BC. So Stanford wants to attack. Here's Hogan out of the shotgun. Wants to throw it over the middle. And caught. Not enough for the first down, though. Austin Hooper make it against SC. First down and 10 of the 22 for Stanford. Bryce Love in the game at running back. And they give it to him with space. Love, he's a speedster. And Bryce Love will pick up Chloe. And Hogan to throw it. Fires down the field. Rector, the intended receiver. Did he get in? No, he didn't. And Stanford at the Notre, at the Notre Dame 36. Right in at running back. McCaffrey splitting wide in motion right now. They pump it his way. Hogan steps up in the pocket, wants to run it. Hogan getting outside, dives forward. And he gave Christian McCaffrey as a decoy. Watch 89, Devin Kajus, right side of your screen. He's going to be wide open. He's going to throw his hand up. He wants that ball to come as they try to fake the screen out right before Hogan took off out of the pocket and tried to get as much as he could himself. This is a guy that is a very good runner. In fact, 112 yards and two touchdowns, Kevin Hogan. Second and three at the 29. And McCaffrey runs into an Irish wall. It's already. Notre Dame showing blitz. They give it to McCaffrey. He pops through the hole and gets close to the first down marker. Dame to get off the field and force Stanford to kick a field goal. Hogan looking, throws in the corner. Caught touchdown, Cardinal. What a minutes and 24 seconds and the ukulele player yards first down and 10 of the 28 McCaffrey and right now Notre Dame starting to find some answers for Christian McCaffrey the receiver at the bottom of your screen second down and 10 of the 28 Here's Hogan to throw it. Far side. And caught. Kajus had to dig that. Best football of the season right now. David Shaw saying he's finally healthy. And he does a great job there of securing that ball. Now, I know it touches the ground, but that was secured. The ground didn't help him catch. Hogan in no rush. Four on the play clock. Here's Hogan. Looking. Drops it off incomplete. Probably could have recruits. Could you imagine him with five-star recruits? I don't understand what LSU is thinking, by the way. I mean, Wes Miles is a heck of a coach. First down to 10 of the 21. Hogan in trouble. Down the field on the Stanford wide receivers. Man covers. Here's Hogan. The throw. A screen. McCaffrey in space at the 20. And McCaffrey, they ran right through him. What? How? that McCaffrey actually took to the house because it was defended well early, but then he makes a player miss, and you think he's got grass, and Shoemate with an excellent open field tackle. That's as good as you can. McCaffrey, and it worked much better on that first down play. Stanford with two timeouts remaining. First and 10. Hogan underneath, and it's caught. It's Hooper with the grab, another first down. Exactly. What Kevin Hogan did there with Matthias Farley bearing down on him. First down at the 48 yard line. 133 to go. Hogan lets it rip down the field. He's got a receiver. Caught. Beautiful play. Devin Kajus to. Kajus has gotten loose a little bit in this second quarter. You see the outside leverage being played by the defensive backs there, and he's able to just run right on the inside in front of him. That was Matthias Farley.
80 yards and three touchdowns. He's hit seven different receivers. He starts from his own 24. McCaffrey. And he gets to the 30 flag on the play. Ramon Wright in the game and running back. And they give it to him straight ahead. And Wright wrestled down after a three-yard game. Here's Hogan. Steps into his throw. He's got a wide open receiver. Could juice to get it. Four. You're going to see Elijah Shoemate, 22. He runs right by Kajus. A blown coverage from Notre Dame, and the experienced quarterback makes him pay. So many times you see blown coverages in the back end, and the quarterbacks are unable to take advantage. But when you have experience loss, they went to the ground game with Samaj P. Ryan and, and Mixon, and they've been sensational ever since. Stanford running. And McCaffrey crosses the 30. Bryce Love in the backfield. They throw it. McCaffrey gives it up to Love. That doesn't fool anybody. Does it? Love up the sideline. And he uses athletic. Watch the juice. Bottom of your screen. Wide receiver. He's had a big game tonight. First down at the 47. Hogan steps into a throw. Kajus. Get interference on Notre Dame. Pass interference. Defense, number 12. 15-yard penalty. First down. Gus, I don't like the call. Devin Butler and Kajus were hand fighting. And they're going to get him right there at the last moment is when the official reached for the flag. But they've got to allow that to go. That That's not contact that is restricting the rec receiver in any way. And you could even make an argument that prior to that, Kajus actually... <laughs> Second down at nine at the 31. Here's the reverse. Love at the 20. Love down at the 10. McCaffrey back in at tailback. They give it to him. No, it's Hogan running it. But they need this one. The juice in motion. McCaffrey, no! McCaffrey tackled behind the line of Scupropina's range. Here's Hogan in the shotgun, looking. Hogan up the sideline, rector incomplete. Yeah, he's in the slot at the top of your screen. Hogan, looking. to Devin Kajus. Over the 100-yard mark has had a touchdown tonight. And Stanford is in field goal.